G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're back in our mega city, about to face down a Blood Moon Horde, and I am very, very anxious about it. Things have not gone well for me this week, and that is an understatement, but I've kind of, kind of slapped together a Horde base down in the wasteland. I want to try and take advantage of that higher loot stage, but that risk, and quite a risk, Probably is going to come with any reward if I don't manage to survive tonight. So I'm currently up in my apartment building up in the pine forest. About to head back down. I've got my electric fences on me. Got my gas. Got my resources and stuff. I'll grab some wood along the way as well. Oh, but time is really of the essence. I don't have a whole lot up my sleeves. So I just need to get cracking, get going, and get ready to face the music. I am very anxious about this. Before I go, actually, I'm just going to break down these, um, these, like, little plantation I've got out the side of my house here. I planted them if I ever needed wood, and if there was ever a time I needed it, it's right bloody now. So, worth the investment of my time. It's about to be dawn. How much wood do I actually need, though? I'm not sure how many. I'm not going to bother replanting these things. There's plenty of other trees and seeds if I need it later on. No time to be a responsible dweller of this planet. Screw the environment because I'm about to get screwed too. All right, look, I lied. There's always time to be conscious of the environment and your impact on it. Got to keep it green. Got to replant your trees. I'm trying to plan out in my head, which is difficult because I have about the foresight of a naked blind mole rat. Rufus can see further in the future than I can. But I'm trying to plan out what I think is going to happen to me tonight. There's a couple of things I'm a bit anxious about. I am i don't know if all of the zombies are going to part the way I want them to. There might be too many of them, and the, the protection I had at the apartment building base was if they fell, they were too far below me if you really have to worry about it. If they break the bottom of the building, they're not going to break enough of it to cause me dramas. But on my new base, that's definitely not a thing. So I might need some way to be able to kill any zombies that might fall down the front and start going into destroying everything mode, I might need a way to kill a crowd of zombies underneath me, which I'll have to have a look at. But other than that, I'll put the electric, uh, like, fences, not the electric fences, well, the electric fences and, like, the electric dart traps and blade traps I'm trying to thinking of. Uh, I'll put those in as well. I just, I just don't know how it's going to go. I'm struggling to see through the fog. I don't know. I, this is dicey. I forgot to put on some more concrete before I left, so I'll split half there and half there. Still got like 395 stones left on me. I might go get some more clay to make myself some more cobblestone as well. Get that a bit more balanced out. Uh, what do I actually need from here? I should take most... Oh, yeah, I'll grab you. Oh, actually, that's what I should do. That's what I should do. Give me that one. And let's quickly make... Yeah, see, I was already primed to it before I left, but I wanted to make it down here. 2,000 rounds-ish of Terry the TD Slap and Tarot Ammo. Get you nice and perped up like you're taking a couple of spicy pills. Um. Okay. I don't know what the next move is. I need to go and run all the electricity and stuff like that. I should take all of this with me. Go and make a box and chuck all that down so I have all the ammo I need out there. Got a couple of grenades. Not many. Mm, not as many as I was hoping I would have. Interesting. Okay, I don't have any nails in here either. Just a regular bottle. Oh, there we go. I'll grab you, actually. I might just have to make a run and just go chuck some shit down and figure out where I stand when the fog clears. Though the fog just cleared and I still have no idea. Just grabbing a whole lot of dirt out of the ground over here. That should be about enough. 395. Need two more out of you. And that one. That'll do. Make a bunch of cobble. Nice. All right, well, I need to quickly just get out of this hole that I've dug for myself, this grave I've dug for myself, and probably even patch up the top of it so I don't fall in here later on when I'm riding my bike around. Like that. Okay, nice, good. Let's get out there and see what my base is looking like. I might do a bit more extra construction just to, like... Did I bring... No, I'll get it later. I was going to say, I didn't bring my blade traps with it, which is half the thing I'm thinking of at the moment. But I can do a bit more construction, drop off the ammo and stuff like that, so at the very least, I have some way to fight the horde. I just realized, though, it's just kind of dawned on me like a sledgehammer to the back of the skull. I didn't spend any time this week accumulating ammo. In fact, all I did this week was spend ammo. Pretty loosey-goosey with it as well. So I'm not looking good on the uh, the old boomstick front. I can use the shetty, but it's not great. Oh, I didn't think of that. Weaponry might have been a good thing to have, Josh. Shit. There's my base somewhat hidden in the trees. Go away, you pelican bitch. 
Looks good all in concrete though. I do quite like it. I like how there's like a little bunker on either side, but that one there is specifically for me. Let's get up and into it and see what we're dealing with. Where can I put these boxes, do you reckon? I'll quickly make storage. Couple of you, you're still cracking away. I heard someone growl at me. I have already tested this, but you're welcome to come over and have a gander at it. So if you cruise on over, assuming I'm out of ammo. Oh, I just punched the microphone and I'm a little bit worried. Why are you stuck? That is nerve wracking. Why are you not coming across as easy as I thought you might? I might have been this. I might have been this. If things go wrong, how quickly can I make it back to my apartment building? Is the motorcycle fast enough to outpace the super vultures? I'm not sure it is. That sounds like there's a hall downstairs. So we'll get their attention. They come up here and fight me rather than just dawdling around. I don't hear any beating, so I think I'm okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe that was just a glitch. Maybe Bozzer just had a bit of a time. Arlene seems to be getting across pretty okay. But aim through the slot, I get some nice, some nice slicing up. I don't know. I don't know. Everything I thought was going to happen tonight, that wasn't one of them. Oh, that could be... I forgot to say, hit the muffet. There you go. That could be really, really bad for me. It's definitely not foolproof. I did get a little bit cladded out of that, but I suppose it's, it is what it is. I might need to put in, like, some sort of bar or something in here. Like, it'll support the roof even more, which isn't the worst thing. But just some way to keep me safe from myself, given I can't be trusted, clearly. Or like that. If I just stick you... Maybe not like that. Can I get another one of you, actually, so I keep my little window open? Like that. Is that going to work? Kind of supposed to be able to see down below, but I want to know if you can reach out and hit me, Arlene. Thank God there's one of you left over. Can you touch me from there? No, but you do hit that, and I can hit you. Okay, I reckon. Lock it in, Eddie. There we go. Got a nice little blockade there for myself. Oh, wow. You're, um... <laughs> Spread your legs and blew your mind. Oh, that's a real bad joke, Josh. <laughs> Rather surprisingly, even though it's relatively spacious in here, because all the blocks have been utilized just on like their outer reaches, there's not a lot of room for putting in my storage. And I don't want to put it somewhere where the zombies can reach it. And in fact, I've just realized, I maybe should have thought this before I upgraded everything to concrete just then. That's an expensive mistake. I have no way. Remember I was talking about wanting to like attack the zombies down below? I have no way to do that right now. That is a slight oversight. What about, what are the chances cops are going to vomit at me? What are the chances it's going to hit over here? Maybe if I just put you like that. Oh, that's the wrong block. Oh, damn it. I made the wrong storage boxes. I wanted the rideable ones. Why is it even an option to make the yuck ones? Always make the rideable ones. Ah, Damn it. All right, fine. I'll put you there, and I hope you get destroyed. That's my way up. That's my way down. That's all good. All right, look. I'm just going to put all my ammo into there for now. Oh, that's a real kick in the dick. God damn it, me. going to break apart this concrete block just here. Please don't collapse the entire joint when you go. No, you're all good. Mm, I could probably make that a little bit better of a window. Is that... No, okay. I think I can manage with that one because we know from the apartment building base, right? What was it called again? It was called a duct. We know we can make grenade shoots out of these bad boys and I want to kind of do the same thing again. How is this going to work for me though? What's the best way to get this going? I want a way so that while I'm in this little fighting trench here, I can turn to my left, pull the pin on the nade, throw it through a duct and it will work its way down down below down there. I reckon I can do it. Whether or not the physics agrees with me is a different question. I'm going to put the first duct in like this. If I can get you facing up the right way, please. Yep, there we go. Just like that. I'm going to have a few more blocks to stand on so I can see the top of the bloody thing. Actually, no, I don't. I can just climb the ladders and get up to the roof. Oh, yeah, it should be okay. Got a nice little window here. If I can just do it from here, can't I? Get you. Go duct. Get the right angle one. Get your face in the right way, please. Which is sloping towards me. And stick you up on the top. Come on, you can do it. Maybe. I know you want it. Come on, listen. Listen, I know it's mostly an empty block, but you got to trust me. You can go there. Oh, you dick. You're going to make this difficult for me, aren't you? That'll do. Chuck you like that. Take that frame away. That's all good and stuck in there. So I want... 
So I thought into that, I hit that angle, it bounces down, and then I want it to kind of go on the piss out this way, I think. Can I attach anything to you? No, you're not going to let me. All right, let's chuck that in like that, just as a kind of like scaffolding for me to work with. Go back to the right angle. And, oh, you were almost facing the right way, actually. That way. That way. And if I can get you to like kind of kick it out to the right down to here, that'll work. That'll work, won't it? Um, I need you to be going... Yeah, that's the right direction to be facing. Like them. Oh, one under, though. One under. Let's go, like, that one. You actually attached to anything? I'm not sure that you are. I might need some more blocks. But I think the shoots... Ow. Oh, okay. I think the shoot, like that, should work out. Look at that. It may look a little weird, but that's a that's an honest to goodness shoot if I've ever seen it. I might give that a little test run before I get too carried away, though. There's no little stones down here. That's good. I'll grab some of you. You may not be explosive, but you still work like a nade, unless you'll bounce around like one. So from here, pull the pin, arm it up, throw it down. Did you make it down there? Did you make it down to the bottom of the chute, and would you kill anyone there? Uh, No? It's not stuck in the chute. Did you just get kicked out a long way, then? What if I try the other way? No, the other way's dumb, Josh. What? Where the hell did my rock go? Look, I'm running out of time. I'm confident enough with that that I'm going to upgrade all of that. Some concrete. It's going to have some explosives in it, so it needs to be nice and strong. I do have steel on me, Josh, so please, please watch where your trigger finger's going. Only up to concrete on those. Turpo's coming a freaking long way away. I don't even know what I'm up to. I've still got number one up there somewhere, so I'm going to go number two... Where am I? I'm just here. I'm all I'm panicked. I'm all panicked. I'm not thinking clearly. Two scene, and it's, what, directly, like, kind of north, northeast? So, right about there. 600. That's about 700. It's about there somewhere, I think. We'll go two. I'll get that another time. This must work. Where the hell did that stone go? There's no reason this shouldn't work. It's a little slippery slide of death. That just looks pretty cool, though. If that actually works the way I want it to, that's awesome. I want to try it again just because I refuse to take no for an answer. That one was definitely slower. So hopefully it's like I like dribbled out the end rather than going flying across the world. Look at that. Definitely bloody works. Happy days. Happy days. And a much more usable grenade shoot than the last one for a much, more, like, a much better purpose as well, actually. So I'm pretty stoked with that. What else do I need? Is there anything else I need over here? Maybe it's time for me to drop everything off that I haven't already. Oh, actually, I've got the steel on me. Okay, it's only half past 12. I want all of this to be nice and steel or fire. This all needs to be nice and strong. The other side breaks down, that's going to suck. If this breaks down, I'm coming down with it. That used almost all of my steel. Is it 20 per pop? I thought it was 10 per pop. Right, all right, that was a bit more expensive than I was anticipating, but I'll use that last one. To upgrade you, you, and you. The barrier between me and the zombies needs to be nice and strong. That is literally all of my steel. So you guys can hang out in there for a little bit. Wood as well. Another wood can come with me. But while I've got the iron on me, what are they called? Shutters. Iron shutters in forged iron for that. Wood shutters will have to do then. Quickly knock up one of you. Because I reckon chucking one of those on that bit there. Like that. Open the doors, throw the grenade, close the doors behind it. That looks sick. I really like this base. I'm yet to see if it works, but if it does, it may be one of my favorites. Quickly grab my batteries out of you. Grab all of these things as well. I'll need the switches. Already got tripwires, actually, which is kind of lovely. Um, do I actually need the tripwires, though? Like, I guess I'll run the blade traps all night anyway, so that's less of a problem. I might need some relays. I need the generator bank. Mm, I might actually grab some light bulbs, because why not? A little bit of light in my life isn't a bad thing. Jen hasn't been around in a while, so have to make do with what I got. Grab all of that. And I think that's going to just to it. Definitely the wire tool. I don't think there's anything else I'm missing here at the moment. Got plenty of gas. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's make sure I'm not leaving anything important behind. I don't really want to have to come back here. Once I'm out there, I want to stay out there. Grab all of you. Grab some extra first aid stuff as well, because that's probably a good shout. Turret ammo. Uh, concrete. What are you missing, Josh? What are you missing? In fact, you do need the wood and... Do you have any cobble left over? 
to use it all. Did I use it all? Or did I leave it out there? I might have left it out there. Because I might need to put another couple of blocks down just to hold my blade traps. Alright, well, I hope to see you again, Desert Town. Because I quite like exploring you and seeing what's going on. But I'm going to go out to the Horde base now and not really look back again. I can get rid of you. That's fine. <sighs> Am I missing anything? I've got turret ammo. I've got resources. I've got stuff. I don't think there's anything super pressing that I'm missing, but I may be completely wrong about that. What do I do with my cobblestone? I must have left it behind because I had a fair um, amount of it. I ran out of steel, I know that. I don't know. I don't know. If I need some more cobble, I can make some more cobble, I suppose, in a pinch. More important just to get, like, the electric fences and the blade traps down because that's going to save my life more than a couple extra blocks will. Yeah, there it is. Okay, give me both of you. Uh, what can I leave behind for the moment? You can go into there with Terry the turret. So can some of the medical supplies and all that stuff. Some food. Yeah, that can all go away. That's not super necessary right now. What I need is to run all the electricity. Eddie. Oh, hey, bud. You having some trouble too? Okay, so it's not... It's not foolproof. I'm having some issues getting the zombies to actually track on through the way I want them to. Which is a little bit worrying, but I think I'll be okay if I just play this right. So, how am I going to put down these blade traps? What's the best way to do this? What I want, I want to kind of stick them off to the side. There's that single panel down the middle where they can run, but the blade traps stick out a little bit. So if I can put one, or even both of them, on either side, the zombies can't attack the blade trap itself. They have to run through the blades, and if I combine that... Jeez, this is a lot of thought processes. I'm not good at it. If I combine that with the electric fences, that might work out pretty okay. I don't have any dart traps, which I'm a little bit upset about, but I'll try and make it work. I'm going to put down an extra... Oh, this is so risky. A bloody half past three on Horde Night. We'll put down all of you. There's no way to tell if you're going to overload the system or not, though. I don't know. I don't know. I'll start with wood, but like when you're placing blocks, they'll go yellow and then pink and stuff like that if you're about to break your base. But with this, there's no way to know. I just gotta put it down and hope it works out. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're all sorted. I am a little bit worried that like having this easy track across though. Maybe they think, maybe zombies might think it's faster to beat their way through the walls and run across the bridge up the top. Maybe, potentially, and I come down through that hatch. No, no, I don't think they work that way. I don't think they'll go past my uh, altitude to then come back to it later. I think that's something in the zombie AI. I'm not 100% sure about it, but I really hope it is, because otherwise I'm kind of cooked. But either way, that's all good. I do need to find a place to put down these things. I might have, if I was smarter. Ooh, actually, can I put you over there? No. All those spaces are taken up. That's too close to the front. Oh, there we go. That's nice and out of the way. That'll do me. I think. Not really a spot where I put stuff, though. If I was smarter, I would have put down some sort of blockade to this kind of thing to stop any cop from coming through. I'll chuck you like that. And can I just go give me a plate and go like this? On face. Just like that. Just to stop any errant cop from coming through. It might catch most of it. Maybe one might sneak through, but it's not going to break it straight away. Okay, so generator bank gets wired up to battery bank. That's all fine. I do have a little switchy boy here. In fact, I'll still need that one. Let's put the switches somewhere. Is there anywhere that makes sense for a switch anywhere around here? Or have I taken up all the space with all my other extra shits? I probably have. Although, well, that might work. Okay, I'll chuck you there. Someone's caught up in my web. That's all good to go. Don't know why I said web so weirdly. Whatever. Push it on from that. So you go to that one. Nice. All right, so I need to get out there and place some of those blade traps. Give me you. Can I do it from in here? Kind of. Is that the right spot? No, it needs to be there. You can see like kind of the white outline is abutting up against the front of my little bunker here. So you go like that. I can't quite reach you. I can do that from outside. God, remember when I said I didn't want to make this place too claustrophobic? It's gone from a spacious palace bunker to being really bloody squeezy. The other one's just going to go there. There we go. They're kind of straddled by each other, but that's okay. Now, I don't want to daisy chain those because if the first one breaks, I don't want that to impact the other ones. I know it works the other way, like you need the first one to break to affect the further out one, but I'd rather go from you straight to that one. 
like that. And from you, straight to that one. I'm worried about how close this switch is to the zombies. That might get caught in some accidental blast and broken. But let's go like this. Turn you on. That gets that up and whirling. Nice, nice, nice. I'm actually going to run the generator now just to try and charge up those batteries. I also need to run my electric fences. That should be good to go. I don't know. It's been a long time since I used electrical traps against zombies. Normally, I don't want to sacrifice the XP. But for this, I think I'm going to need it. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. That might work out okay. So the tough part here is getting these electric fences in the right spot. Oh, that blade truck's going to block it. Okay, I thought for a second I could just hang it off the ceiling upside down. So as they meet the blade trap, they get electrocuted to be held in that blade trap a little bit longer. However, if I remember, I'll just go like this. I'll go like that. I'll stick you there because the blade traps stick out unequally on both sides. This might hurt the whole symmetricality thing, but I'll see how it goes. No, I can't stick you there. Can I stick you on this side then? That's about the right spots. Why? <laughs> Why not? Why can't you stick upside down? You'll let me do it in other places. Why are you being a bastard now? Come on, go where I want you to go. That almost works. Hold on. There we go. I mean, it's all lopsided and annoying, which is not making me feel great, but it's going to do the job. I do need some more stones and some more clay just to upgrade that up to, um, up to cobble and then concrete. God, it's all over the place. That, that hurts me. That hurts me to look at, but for this instance, we just need function over form. Oh, it's now 6 p.m., so the thunder's starting to crack on. I suppose I just go the whole thing from here anyway. You go to that one, and from that one directly across to them. So it's all running off the one switch, which I mean, I know that has no redundancy, but I just gotta hope it's all gonna work. You go to that one. Bit of a long reach, but that's okay. And you reach across to... I can't see the other one, but I'll run around and do it myself. Oh, it's getting real real iffy. Real bloody iffy. It's going to quickly dig up the uh, side of the road over here. Oh, it normally gave me stone, didn't it? There we go. I was one block too much to the left. Go right on the side of the road. There we go. It's basically just cobble in the dirt. All of you. Oh, that's not giving me bloody clay soil anymore. Okay, whatever. I'll dig a bit of a trench. Get the things I need. Turns out it's not as easy as I thought it was. Cobble, make sure a bunch of you just leave those divots behind. You're missing anything. I'm sure I'm missing something very important and it'll become very apparent about four minutes into the horde. But at the moment, I gotta hope this is going my way. It was annoying me having those stupid little, like, just little nodules sticking out the side for no reason. So I put in some ramps here to the side. It's risky, I know, but I needed the aesthetic goodness just to appease every neuron in me noggin. Okay. Still looks a little bit weird, but it looks a bit nice now having like, it's not like a chicane. It's the chicane of electricity. That's all fine. Don't let any spikes up on the roof because the, hopefully Terry the Turret will take care of it for me. Is that going to work? Turn you on. I assume that's going to work. I can't take, test electric fences without sizzling off my own arm hair. All right. Let's put this stuff away and see what we're looking at. I can put my tools away in my regular box. That stuff can go in there too. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on a jiffy. Let's get some light going. Somehow. Is there even a spot for a light? No. There's not even a spot for a light in here. It's all chock a block with extras. I do wish I had some more forged steel, but I'm just going to have to deal with what I've got. All you guys can go away. I don't need my crossbow. I don't need my frames, nor any of that. You can go in there as well. All that can, I'll sort you out tomorrow. Okay. Well, you're still churning away. I'll chuck you away. I need the concrete. I think I just need everything out of here. <sighs> okay. Terry, this is your new eminent domain. Which way do I want to face you? I mean, if I put you right here, it's easy for me to reload you. But this is where all the squawkers are going to be flapping about. So maybe chucking Tezza out here. Reloading him is going to be an issue, but I'll see what I can do. Grab you. Reload you. You are chock a block full of mods, I'm pretty sure. Got the extended mag mod, which is good. So if I just put you like there, that'll work, won't it? They come down because they should be like attacking directly there. Terry's their primary waiting. Although if they're attacking there, then probably a better option. Hup, is right there. There you go, Terry. Are you still going to be whirling while I'm down here? It sounds like you are. I can't bloody hear my tarot because bloody arse cheeks in the sky is making them clap for dollar bills. 
Yeah, nah, he's still going. Okay, we're all good. He's happy as Larry up there. Happy as Terry up there. Uh, ooh, if I had, ooh, what do I do? I'm just nervous about this, though. Are they going to try and attack this bit? Hang on. Hang on. I'll get some spikes. Then at the very least, I'll hear them coming. Although, if they've already made it to the roof, I've got bigger problems. I'm not sure if it's still a thing, but I know... Once upon a time, rather stupidly, they brought in a thing where zombies wouldn't try and path through spikes. They'd see spikes as an obstruction and, like, avoid all your well-laid traps and go somewhere else. I'm hoping I can take advantage of that. And this is now a too high wall, so they can't easily path over it. And if they do, they'll get shish kebabs. And also, Terry's going to rinse them as well. Hopefully, that works. Am I missing anything? I've got ammo. 500 rounds there. I've got 1,800 rounds of 9 mil. I've got 1,800 rounds of 7.62. And my machete. Got a couple of repair kits. Not much, though. I might have almost enough time to scoot on home and grab some extra if I really needed it. I don't need all that extra gas, though. You can go away. I think it just is what it is. I think I'm about... Oh, I don't have any, like, cool health stuff either. I've got to go. I've got to go. Got to go back home and get some extra health supplies. That's actually important. How do I do this? How do I do this consistently every time? I've been preparing for this horde for a week and it still comes down to one hour before the horde is showing up and I'm charging across the desert, panicking my ass off because I've forgotten something important. Every time I do this, just once, I like to have a nice nonchalant, calm horde night. Just, you know, sip on a cup of coffee, enjoy the view while all the zombies die, and I don't have to spend the last moments of my life panicking to no end. Give me you, give me you, give me you, give me honey, uh, give me vitamins in case, give me... No, I don't need steroids, actually. Is there anything else in here I actually need? I'll drink you. I'll have a cheeky coffee before I go. I've got some extra... So extra first aid bandos, so that's fine. I'll take an extra stack just in case. All of you seem fine. I don't think I need anything else in here. Anything that might happen to me, I should be ready to deal with. All right, yep, that'll do. Got 45 minutes to get back again. Oh, I'm right on the cusp here. Good God, I've cut that fine. Got less than 15 minutes until the horde shows up. Park my bike just there, charge on in. I'm not going to drive my bike into the wasteland. That's a terrible idea. Grenade shoots there, I'm ready to go. We're up. We're in. Close all the doors. Less than 10 minutes to go. Make sure that's all good. All right, Terry, you ready? Let's do this. Light, power on. I'm ready to go. I probably would have liked to have grabbed some more repair kits when I was just at home December, but I was panicking and I wasn't thinking straight, which would surprise nobody. That's all good. Oh, yep. Here they come. I was going to say, please, electric fences, can you do something? I'm going to try and go with the magnum more than anything. Because I do have quite a lot more... Oh my god, there's so many. I do have quite a lot more 44 ammo than I do really anything else. Like, I'll burn through, like, 9mm and 7.62 really quickly. Oh, that's some cop bomb at them. I might need to... Oh my god, look at them all out there. I might need to build some, like, extra protections into this or something, because this is quite a lot. Huh. All right, I might have underestimated what was coming for me tonight. I'm glad I had the blade traps. I'm glad I had the electric fences. They won't last forever, but while they're there, bud, but while they're there, they're my best friends. One blade trap is already down. That's why I wanted some extra steel to repair them if I could. But the focus on the one is much closer to me now. I'm not even bothering to aim down the sides. I'm gonna waste my um, what's we call it? My stamina. I had that clown chowder before to give me an extra boost of it, but don't wanna go wasting it anyway. Looks like fences are still working well. Plus, I got the redundancy slot. Ow! Slightly closer to me. All right, the cop vomit, small issue. Might have to build some like screens or something for it later on. Pop in. God, I wish I had the bloody, uh, what should we call it? The bloody Dolch. Um, reloading the Magnum takes forever, and I ain't all about it. I've decided instead the Magnum's great and all, but I've got surplus 762, and I don't use uh, the AK for anything else. And it's a tier 6, so kind of silly not to use it. Couldn't, we're not putting some points into it as well if I ever get the chance to. Oh god, I'm like sitting like bolt upright as well. I'm scared of what's about to happen to me. Thank you for the loot. That's why I'm here after all. I do miss my um I do miss my apartment building base quite considerably. I'd feel much safer if I was there right now. I'm just gonna have to deal with what I got though. One hour down, one blade trap down. I'm gonna keep on pushing. That last blade trap seen some better days. Can I grab that steel? I have one steel on me. Repair. I do have steel, you lying sausage. How dare you tell me I don't have the steel to repair it? It's on freaking fire. Oh, it's gone. 
And it's gone. Okay, so now it's just me and my electric fences while they're still around. And a bunch of clowns. I don't want to use the SMG, but it hits harder than anything else I got. I should have taken the suppressor of it before I got here, but too late now. You need to die, please. You also need to get out of the way. There's cop coming, cop vomit coming in from everywhere. Just don't, just don't spray. Just try and place your shots. Take shots for days. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, I gotcha. I gotcha. Can they actually explode while they're in the crawling animation? I'm not sure about that. If they can't, that's a real good thing. The electric fences and the blade traps are all gone. And I've got a problem where... Ah, shit. Where I can't actually shoot through the bodies that get stuck in front of me. That was the best thing about the apartment building base was that they would die and fall out of the way. This one, significantly less good for that. Ow! Stop that shit. Stop clipping through the ceiling and vomiting all over your forehead. Just keep on going. I definitely need some more repair kits, though. That was an oversight and a half by me. This might take all of my weapons to get through. Only two hours in, a third of the way to go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Got to keep something loaded for exactly that moment. Heart attacks are bad, okay? So I found a nice little loophole to this base. I can actually kind of, like, slink on underneath this little pole here, which seems to protect me against the zombies. They take a swing at me, but they only hit the blocks around me. It gives me a much easier line of sight through whatever's in front of me, through the vault and the fire and the flames, and Skomo's fucking hideous belly. Excuse me, I can't, I can't quite see. Down in front, Skomo, all 17 bellies of ya. I'll tell you what I would have loved right now. Sammy the Sledgy Boy, the old reliable lad that always has my back for all of this shit. If I could just have him somewhere close to me, so if they do get close, if I haven't killed him by the time they get to me, Sammy can give him a cheeky bonk in the forehead and send them back down from whence they came. That would be, that would be invaluable. I've got Terry upstairs, but Sammy would have been the better option. Spice can take care of vultures. Sammy can take care of everything. Oh god, I just realized I've definitely uh, had a couple of scrapes I wasn't anticipating. Could have just use a full first aid kit. Seems like a good idea. Get back to rinsing. God, my AK is almost dead again. I need these bodies to fuck off. There's got to be a way to get them goopy legged a little bit easier than this. And it's going to sit there, propped up like a freaking puppet. How'd you get through? Oh, excuse me. I can't see. Sure, whatever. Just do whatever I have to do to get that shit out of my way. Zombies are one thing, loot bags are another. I need to be able to see what I'm shooting. My items cactus again. Quickly repair that one. I've got three repair kits remaining. I'll run out of ammo with 762 before I run out of repair kits. So that's all right. Aim right down the guts through there, right through all their chinny chin chins. Excuse me, but you need to piss off with that. Occasionally, I do kind of glitch out. Scomo, move your fat tub along. Good God, if I wanted a tub of butter, I'd have gone to the fridge. Not how you propped up in front of me, you squelchy git. God damn, I hate Scomo. Always in the way. There's like a bulletproof sponge for all of his friends behind. And Scomo hasn't been that generous his entire fucking life. You need to move as well. Everyone needs to die. Oh, man. I need I need more firepower. I really need more firepower. The AK is great. I need some skill points in it or something. Or I just need a shitload of 9mm ammo and just rinse with the SMG. That's where I'm best suited. That's probably what I should be using. And in the moment, it's my only option left. We've got some white starting to show up, which would conserve it all. But this is, I think it's going to be okay. In fact, they're kind of getting stuck at the entryway over there and causing a bit more of a backlog. Oh, damn it, ScoMo. If I have my time again, I might have built a, um, ow, a grenade shoot that reaches over to where the zombies are grouping up rather than down below. I haven't really used the thing yet, and I probably should. If I had some way to drop grenades over there, that would be much more valuable than just protecting the base. Although, let's quickly go like this. Pull the pin. Full power. Down you go. Close that up. Hope for the explosion where it needs to be. So it's just at the bottom of the chute. That's fine. Got some experience points out of it, though. Keep on firing. We're almost out of ammo. Almost time to change the SMG. Hour and three quarters to go. Items cactus. There's only 10 rounds left in the magazine anyway. If I can, I real quick, modify you, take the suppressor off. I should have put, if I can, I grab, uh, yeah, that one. That'll do. Grab you. Chuck it into this one instead. Nice. There we go. It's going to be loud up, but that's okay. Going to do some extra damage. I feel like it's more... Important this point. God, all right, Lumberjack Larry out there. Tearing apart the bloody forest. Can't tear apart me, so you're taking to the trees. I know I've got tree trunk, guys. That's a bit different. SMG's making good work on this. I do need to quickly go, though, and repair you. Make sure you're happy. Make sure all that's happy as well. This all goes tits up and the zombies get through. So, cheeky bit of repair work. Not a bad shout. 
his meat. Look at the damage it does, though. With all those perks running through it as well, it's just so much better. Oh, plus I get the juicy headshots too. Yeah, this is definitely the right call. It recalls like a fucking mule, but I'm doing good work with it. I miss the suppressors for the handling reasons and my eardrum reasons, but in the meantime... Oh, it's rinsing. See you later, that white noggin. Yeah, good call with this one for sure. They're coming in thick and fast, but the SMG is thicker and faster. This is the freaking Johnny Sins of SMGs right now. Just doing the job you wish you could. Oh, look at him. Look at them. They also up get goofy at the knees and fall down in front of it. Nice, nice. Quickly open you. Chuck that other grenade down there. Down you go. Close up behind you. I'm going to need to repair my SMG in a moment. Grenade shoot works. Throw your all ghost. There is a couple down there. I can't... Oh, today I lost. How are you doing? I can't hear the beating over the sound of gunfire and all the other problems I've got right now. But it's good to know that it's there. This could, this base could use a bit of tinkering, but I think how it is is fine. It's 3.30, I should make it through. Plenty of ammo remaining. Items cactus, that's fine. Quick repair you up and use the magnum while I'm waiting. Even by like backup to my backup, still a good option. This is one of those times where I kind of wish I had, like, even like AP ammo just in the Magnum, maybe, might be a good shout, because they're all lining up like this, and I'm getting scores of headshots. Getting a couple at a time, not something I'm going to say no to, is it? Arlene? Oops, speaking a couple at a time, with a couple of Arlenes in there just clamoring over each other. I mean, I've had dreams like this, but this is turning into a bit more of a nightmare. Is that a hole in the roof down there? Oh, you fucking what? They've punched a hole in the ceiling, which breaks the whole crawling thing. It's far enough down that I think I can manage with it, but that, I'm glad it happened right at 4 a.m. Oh, that would have been real bad. That would have been real bloody bad. There is the morning chime, though. That's real bloody good. I'll finish off the last of these idiots and then see what we're dealing with. Oh, boy. That wasn't clean. That wasn't clean. That wasn't comfortable, but we managed to get through. I think everything's done. I think it's nice and quiet. I've, I killed the remaining zombies much faster than I anticipated I would. You still got ammo. Couple of pigeons got to the spikes. That's all right, Terry. I'm sure you did your best. That is not what I needed. Okay, well, let's have a little gander at what else happened around here. The steel held up. That's a lot of loot bags. Oh, that's a lot of loot bags. That's very exciting. That's very bloody exciting. Do I loot it now or do I come back for it? I will loot it now. We have to raise the difficulty now that we've survived the day four line horde. That's the rule. Every two weeks, the difficulty goes up, which means we're about to go to bloody insane, insane difficulty. I'm not sure if we'll up the speed. Oh, God. All right. I'm not sure if we'll up the speed to nightmare as well. We might keep it just on sprinting for now. And then if we supply another two weeks, then it could be insane nightmare for the last, like, two weeks. I'm going to quickly chuck my loot and gogs on. We'll go and see what's waiting for us down below. I'm surprised these doors got fucked up, though. That could have been real dicey. All right. What's my loot stage at? Loot stage 207. Surely... You're going to offer me something good. Some ammo. Oh, fucking how you doing, Reggie Ditch, Cobberoo? That's a good start. Dividing tier 6 anything is a good effort. Oh, some tier 5 booty boys. Read you. Take that. This could be good. This could pay off. All of my week of heartache might come up okay. Oh, a tier 6 steel pickaxe as well. Did I have a tier 6 steel pickaxe? I'm not sure. But that, oh, and a tier 6. I think, well, that right there, right there is the three Steely Boys, all tier sixes. So that's really bloody good. These blue bags are paying dividends. Take all the yoom. Read that one. Haven't found anything else though. Not that I'm upset at all by the current haul. Anything here? SWAT helmet, I'm chock a block full of gubs. We're gonna keep on going. Take all of that. I can't take the rest of it. I'm completely full. Let's grab that one. Take you where I can. Might have to go and drop some shit off in the moment. Maybe in the bike or something. Because I am full. Oh, there's some damage to the pillar down here as well. Definitely not as, um, as clean of a whore best as I've made before. But it's still standing and so am I. I've dropped off all that stuff in the bike to free out some space. There was an extra one here. What have you got for me? Thank you. I'll grab the one I just saw on the other side as well. Oh, okay, so it's 5.30. We're into a new week. What have you got? Sure, whatever. Okay, into a new week of challenges. I need to upgrade this horde base a bit, but that's all the stuff I got. Tier 6 steel stuff across the board. That gets me pretty bloody fizzy. But I have to come back, raise the difficulties to insane... 
figure out what the shit to do about this and hopefully make a better um, for another week in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page, the Patreon, who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.